Hello everyone, my name is Zach Hoddle from Emmanuel Lutheran here in Woodstock, Virginia. When I was asked to participate in our Sin and Lenten devotional series, I was fairly excited. But when I learned this was my passage, that feeling soon faded. While this isn't the hardest part of the Bible I have been asked to reflect on, it is certainly on the spectrum. Yet, like many other verses, after some deliberation, the essence of this reading became clear. We as a people are called upon to wait. As Christians, we eagerly wait for the return of Christ. As humans living through a pandemic, we hopefully wait for a return to the before times. And, if you're like me and love a certain frozen dessert, we impatiently wait for the seasonal reopening of our local soft-serve ice cream stand. But few of us are very good at waiting. We become irritable, edgy, and intolerant when we have to put our lives on hold for something that is out of our control. In this passage, Daniel is one of these waiting people. He has been given visions from God about what will happen to the Israelites and wants to know when these astounding things are going to happen. But if Daniel was looking for an exact date, the answer he gets in these verses isn't very helpful. A time, times and a half a time, 1,290 days, 1,335 days. It would have been so much easier if the man in Lennon had just said August the 3rd at 3 p.m. For us, it seems so confusing. Just like Daniel, we want to know how long we have to wait. We get impatient and pray for a sign, or a divine stopwatch even, that will let us know when we can expect the end of days, our vaccine, or when we can get our next Reese Cup Sunday. And when we don't get the clear answer we hoped for, we get frustrated, asking again and again without being satisfied. Yet, we and Daniel have been given a clear answer. In this verse, in verse 13, Daniel is told, go your way to the end. You will rest, and then at the end of the days, you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. Or as I might have said, get out of here. You know all these great things are going to happen, and you know that in the end, God will give you the reward he promised you. Why do you need to know more? And the same goes for us as Christians. We are a people called upon to wait for many things. Yet, as much as it anguishes us to not know how long we must wait, we take solace in our faith that God has promised us salvation and the forgiveness of our sins. Whether it is in five minutes or five millennia, we don't know. And it really doesn't matter because the inheritance God has allocated for us is so rich, it will outweigh all the hardships we have faced during our wait. So get out of here. Go about your life knowing all things will happen in God's time. A time that we may not understand, but know will come. Let's take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for this time of Lent, a time of waiting for the astounding day of Easter we know is coming. Thank you for making us a waiting people whose cries of impatience are answered by the certain knowledge of the forgiveness of our sins and the hope of his resurrection. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.